All right, so five days. It's our eighth park of the trip and we're at Silver Dollar City, the one and only, one of my favorite theme parks ever. So join me as I get my first rides ever on Time Traveler in experience, one of the most beautiful theme parks, not only in America, but the entire world. I'm gonna show you guys everything about this place. So join me again. Thank you all for all the support. Silver Dollar City is a must park for anyone coming to visit here or any coaster enthusiasts out there. Five great roller coasters, great atmosphere, fantastic food, and more. First stop when you go to Silver Dollar City has to be, and it's not wildfire, it's not time travel, it is the bakery. Okay, so I have three rides on Time Traveler and one on Thunderation. Thunderation is a very underrated mine train. This thing is legit. If this is actually at a bigger park that didn't have like all great coasters, it would be one of the better coasters. It really is top notch aero mine train. Uh, I love everything about it, especially the drop after the helix into like you go further into the ravine and it's surrounded by woods. And then of course the famous drop off after the main lift hill because that's really good great way to end the ride now let's talk about time traveler i can now say that i've been on over 400 different roller coasters and i will say that's the most unique ride i've ever been on like i'm still processing what i just rode uh we, we have the time traveler passes or the trailblazer passes so we've already ridden it three times like i said the line's been about 30 minutes long i rode the back the magic seat is the back unload side i believe they're all really good, but the back car is phenomenal because you get pulled down the drop if you're in the back row backwards, which is even just more bizarre. And if we rode near the front as well, I'm gonna probably get about 10 to 12 rides on it today. Again, hands down, one of the best rides I've ever been on. Uh, it's just so unique going through these transitions, the, the inversion, the hills, where you're not really facing the track, you're spinning in all directions, no rides really the same. So if you already have it, Get out to Silver Dollar City and mock rides. Please, please, please build more of these rides. Now I have to go to Plopsa Land to ride uh, Ride of Happiness. Because that thing, that layout could be my number one coaster, period. If I know how much I love time traveling. So 
So we're about to hit Wildfire, Outlaw Run, Power Arcade next, get some more food. It's a beautiful day here at Silver Dollar City, so make sure you try to get out to visit the park, support the park this year, next year. Just get to Silver Dollar City. It's one of the best parks in the entire world. When you come to Silver Dollar City, you cannot, and I mean not, not try the Tater Twist. This place is phenomenal, and again, you do not want to miss checking this out, because trust me, what you're, what you're about to see, prepare your taste buds. Since you're watching my channel and you're watching this video, I know there's a very good chance that you like roller coasters and I know there's a really, really good chance you like food. And if you like roller coasters and food and just a great overall place, seriously, you gotta come to Silver Dollar City. Just my three hours in the park already, it's already established it. I really think it's my favorite park ever that I've been to so far. Yes, over Cedar Point. I mean, roller coaster wise, it's hard, but when you get the full environment of the great coasters here and the, uh, all the rides, the food, the setting, the terrain, it's really hard to beat. So we just did Mystic River Falls, and uh, that's insane. By far the best water ride, uh, rapids ride for that matter, uh, that I've ever experienced. Not only is the ride extremely long, it's just so funky and weird. The, the crazy lift hill that kind of rotates you, you know, 180 degrees. And then you have the shoot aspect of it, where it's like an out of control experience. And then you have the drop. So luckily I didn't get too, too wet. My shoes got more wet than my body did. But uh, yeah, hands down, it's a very, very long line. So either get time travel or ride this first thing in the morning or last thing at night. Cause you're looking at about at least an hour long line when it's hot, if not longer, when it's a beautiful day like today is.
This is a must visit when you uh, do Silver Dollar City. I'm not gonna tell you much about it, but it's uh, never has a line and you cannot. What the heck's that up there? I don't know what it is, but let's go. Now it's time to do the swinging bridge. Little things like this just makes Silver Dollar City so unique. And here's a fun fact, each day someone comes through and redraws, like I said, these neon writings and arrows to point you in the, in the right direction. Little things like that, again, that's really, really cool. Each day someone does that, that way uh, it looks all bright and stuff for the next guest the next day, so they don't get lost. At least Silver Dollar City still has their river battle. We just finished our day at Silver Dollar City and some closing notes. Their fire in the hole, like just so much better in all aspects over Dollywood's um, Blazing Fury. Hands down, huge surprise. I've been on it like 10, 10 years ago, so it's been quite a while. You know, obviously you forget things, but that ride, every aspect, every little detail is better in my opinion, of course. Power keg, top notch. Gotta love power keg, s, &S crazy looking launch coaster. Feels like a mini hyper, at least the first half does. Uh, really just a solid ride. We got a front row ride on that. And then we had like four or five more time travel rides. Just, you can't get enough of time travel. You really can't. And the, uh, I know I've been calling it the wrong name the whole entire time, but the Trailblazer uh, Pass, super, super worth it. You get to skip all the lines, literally like skip. The merge points are fantastic for it and really worth it. And it's only like $85, which isn't bad when you really think about what you're getting and where the merch points are for it. Uh, here's thanks to Matt for joining me on this crazy trip of eight parks, five days. And uh, we had to break some news today about California's Great America, but that's all good. That's uh, check that video out. And uh, yeah, this is my last big trip before I'm a father again to a little girl. So that's gonna be fun. And I'm very happy to be able to do this, do my passion, share my passion with you guys, meet you guys in the park, say hi to you, get your pictures with you guys. Again, thank you all for all the support. I could not do this without you guys. And uh, thank you for, again, thank you and keep riding coasters.